And I think that yeah. started with John. And then it's been followed through by the people that have been joined as partners. And that makes a huge difference. I have a, a question here. You you really are still a Redskins fan? No. I, oh, I got to change my profile. But you're a Commanders fan? That is fan? a really good point. You're no. still a Commanders so, fan? No. So here's I don't care what, what you call them. I'm just no. saying like, you're still a so, fan of that team. And it's, I'm, I, so something weird happened to me in 2020. Well, lots of weird things happened in 2020. I, prior to 2020, grew up with the NFL. It was the one sort of sport that my whole family followed. We're not baseball people. We're not basketball people. Maybe a little ice hockey. We watched the Olympics. But like the one thing that we all followed very closely growing up was the NFL. And so that was the sport that I paid attention to for my whole life. And up until this, through the season of 2019, I was one of the long suffering Redskins fans. They won the Super Bowl when I was in middle school, I think. And then that was, that was it. in 91. That, yeah, that, that was middle school. So that was it for that. They've been awful in varying degrees of awful ever since. I always used to say, whatever age my mom was at the time, you want to hear a 68 year old woman curse to a ridiculous degree, ask her what she thinks of Dan Schneider. And you will hear yeah. my mom drop more curse words than you would think a person of that age would even know. So we didn't like the owner. It was all this. Something happened in 2020 where my, I think it was just with all the COVID and everything going on, my brain just subconsciously decided it didn't care about football anymore. I just lost the Ram space in my brain to care about the NFL. Like I just, it was weird. Preseason had started or, and I can't remember what happened 2020 of preseason, if they did it or they did it with no fans. I honestly don't remember, but John and I sit, sit, sat near each other for up, almost 15 years now. We would always talk football on Mondays. Always we would talk football. And so that follows asked me questions like normal stuff. I'm like, you know what? I didn't watch the game. He was like, wait, what? I'm like, yeah, I don't even know what happened. Who were they playing? And he's like, what? What? And I was I don't know what happened. I just stopped paying attention to football. And so I didn't lose any of my other interests. I think one of those the PHQ9 depressing questions, have you lost interest in things you were previously interested? Football. I don't know what happened. My brain just dropped the NFL. And it wasn't the Redskins specifically. I think it was just, this is an extra thing my brain does not need to care about. I have stopped following it, not even made the decision to. Oh, no. To me, it was, I was a big Redskins fan. I don't know if Bill Kirby, he's a pediatric cardiologist. I do not know that name. And Bill had season tickets and we used to split them up. He had four nice. seats and we used to... And then somewhere, this must have been 2015, 2016, I said, Bill, I'm not going to those games anymore. It's just nobody wants to go. It's just absolute torture. I can't stand the team. I can't stand the yeah. owner. <laughs> I am done. And just to make you laugh, that was in 1991 when the Redskins won the third and a championship. I think, yes, that was still Joe Gibbs. And that was the last time they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. And then... I was in Chicago as a second year resident. So you could have been my patient in clinic. Ah, nice. <laughs> I'm curious, what does this have to do with our topic of discussion? It's a challenge. We oh, talk about all still, kinds of different I, I'm things. never going to get these three minutes back. <laughs> I am you never going to return to them like any sport. So uh, who cares? Yeah, yeah, who do. cares? <laughs> I don't have the bandwidth for this stuff. Move on. And, yeah, that was it. I lost my bandwidth for the NFL involuntarily. Oh, I don't funny. Know. COVID stole it. And then what haven't I asked you that I think is that you think is important either for our aspiring young medical students that want to be pediatricians hmm. or for the pediatric community in general to know that I didn't ask you? Let me think. I'm trying to think of something. Would you recommend to your children to go to medical school and become a pediatrician? I think I would, but I would make sure they really, really understood what the process of that was and that they really wanted to do it because they wanted to do it and not because somehow they felt like they should is the big thing, mm -hmm. which I see a lot of kids in our practice. They're like, I'm going to be an engineer. I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to be a doctor. And a lot of those kids, I'm, do you really want to do that? Or is that sort of what you think you should do kind of thing. So I think I'm a big fan of doing what your actual passion is and doing what you actually want to do. 